high and then and as i said before this channel will not be related to pc builds only we are in shenzhen city china participating in one of the biggest drone exhibitions in the world and we will be covering a few innovative things here the exhibition is called the shenzhen international uas expo over 800 companies and more than 5,000 drone related products are featured this year with so much happening in the same place, it's hard to categorize everything, so I tried to split it into sections. And the first section is city mobility. They have ginormous brushless motors here. These are huge, it's like bigger than a human head. And even bigger here, these seem to be dummy models, just 3D printed or something like that, but this one is real. It's real metal, it doesn't have coils inside, I guess it doesn't have magazines inside but they produce them, they just make them and sell. And this is something that is required for city mobility and for manned vehicles. so that's interesting. And I guess we will see more of them popping up here and there. Can you introduce it, please? Yeah, we are MAD components mm -hmm. and we, come, we are founded in 20, uh, 2009 mm -hmm. and uh, we located in Nanchang, Jiangxi. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, our main productions are drone components, mm -hmm. including uh, propellers, motors, and uh, battery, and ESC. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and these are, you said that these are something of your new lineup, right? Yeah, this is our new production line this year. This series is made, mainly used in agricultural use. We put the motor and the ESC and the propeller together. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I see you have both axle and regular motors yes, in yes, the yes. same place. Yes. This one seems to be the biggest. And what is what, what's this trust? Uh, this we have noted here. The uh -huh. biggest trust is about 65 kilograms. Uh -huh. Next, max trust. Yeah, and, and we have trust, even bigger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So recommended trust is 27 to 30 kilos. 65. Yeah, this is awesome. So it is 18s motor, pretty big like a palm. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, let's probably go to the next one. Okay. Can, can you tell me more about this one? This is absolutely mm. huge. This is one called AM series. Uh -huh. It's our, uh, the, the newest production line this year. Uh -huh. It's only for huge lift uh, use. Yeah. Do you uh, produce both propellers, motor and ESC on your end in house? Yeah, we are the manufacturers. What is the trust output for this particular model? This one maybe goes to 200 and to 20, 220 like that. That's max. Yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah. yeah. So this is clearly meant for manned vehicles, right? Yes. Like, yes. Of course. Something like that. A sky taxi. Uh -huh. uh, emergency medical use. You know, the U.S. government has been releasing more reports about strange flying objects over the past few years. Maybe this is what they were talking about. Hi, my name is uh, Eric. This is Eric from the Hobby Wing, and uh, Hobby Wing is a uh, very big company which uh, established from like uh, 2005. It's about like 20 years. Here's our uh, our new products, brand new products for like heavy jobs, H15. How, how many how many kilos can it handle? Like, like what, what is the trust? Yeah, the trust 65 kilograms. 65 kilos. Yeah, that's rating. awesome. How many kilos is for two of them in this tag? Yeah, it's for two of them. Ah, two of them is 65 yeah. kilos. The rating, the recommended. Ah, recommended. So yeah. it's not the peak trust. Yeah, it's... the peak trust is going to be like 135. And the drone overall is just a showcase unit, right? Or is yeah. it actual drone you're selling? No, we only we only sell in the motors and uh, I see. electric spirit controller. And, and th this uh, is this is controller. the propeller for it. Can I take a look? Yeah, you can have a look. Yeah, let's let's just show how big it is because yeah. that's absolutely crazy. This, this is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Here we can see a enormous VTOL model. I don't think it is a real aircraft. It really looks like uh, something for exhibition. But it's clear that the entire industry is pivoting towards uh, city mobility or something like that, where we will have actual manned aircrafts because they have a lot of uh, huge motors here that are clearly intended for manned aircrafts. Speaking of manned drones, I even got a chance to sit inside Ehang's passenger aero vehicle. 
Ihang is the first drone company in China to receive regulatory approval for an air taxi services provider. It will be a strange video. Uh, it's pretty tight inside and I cannot really film inside, but we have a nice headset here. It's yeah, it's pretty comfortable inside, I would say. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't have enough time to be here. Thank you. The next section covers a few smaller but really important areas. Batteries, anti-drone tag, run control systems, jet engines and ducted fans. But on the way there, well, this happened. We came across an armed robot dog. From the top you can actually see a servo connected to the trigger, so technically there is nothing stopping it from firing a real gun. It's kind of insane, but maybe this is what the future looks like. Hopefully Robodogs won't be taking police jobs just yet. Returning to batteries, we see a nice leap in energy density. The last year most companies were advertising 350 watt-hour per kilogram. This year we see 450 watt-hour per kilogram. A substantial leap forward. So they have intelligent flight battery for Phantom 4. I think the Phantom 4 is discontinued, but you probably can purchase one from here. All right, moving on, I spotted a bunch of anti-drone systems around the expo, but these ones really caught my eye, mostly because they are, well, hard to miss. Big setups definitely meant to make a statement. And they also have much beefier devices if you need to shut down something huge, I guess. And the even bigger one, this is probably capable of shutting down, I don't know, tank or something like that? That's crazy big, it's like stationary. These guys have pretty good ground control stations, a variety of them, I would say. They have video transmitters, video receivers, they run Ubuntu. No Android here, that's cool. These guys are making custom ground control stations for key ground control, I guess. This looks like Android on it. Yeah, camera can be controlled in real time. And they have a bigger version. Pretty cool. Here we are looking at some of the propulsion systems. There is a wide range of ducted electric fans and small jet engines on display. A lot of them are compact and clearly designed for performance. According to the specs, some even use for the printed metal components, which shows how advanced aerospace manufacturing is getting. Found uh, one more company here, interesting one. They have uh, truss stands for a variety of different motor sizes and propellers. So they have a very tiny one. I guess this one can do up to like eight inch, maybe nine. They have all of the values for it here on the screen. Uh, some PCB to record everything, including power and trust. And if we move here, we have bigger and bigger models. So we have this one that's probably 30 inch, maybe 28, something like that. And we can go bigger. They have even manned aircraft sized trust and that's crazy how much trust such a thing can output they said that they can send me videos how they actually test those things and i'll try to embed them into the video as well And now we are getting to the last and honestly the most interesting part for me, the actual drones. This is interesting, they are making weatherproof boxes for containers for drones, the quick deployments. Here is the drone itself, has some sensors on top of it. What is even more interesting is they have a car unit, the unit that can be installed on top of a car, regular vehicle. It has some sort of robot on top of it. Wow, it's moving. Yeah. 
This is something very clever as well. It's usually a pain to transport such a big wickle. And what they did, they stacked four of them together and put in half a container. It has a C inside. It has hydraulics to open and close the lid. And overall, it's pretty, pretty dense packaging for such drones. And that's very interesting and clever design. The drone itself doesn't look that, that special. It seems to be a regular VTOL with four motors and gas engine at the back. They have a few more models here, some painting on them. Hawk Technology Group, mm -hmm. a company based in uh, Wuhan, China, and it's been uh, 11 years. Okay, uh, and uh, so you have quite a clever design here, as I can see. So these are uh, tiltable forward propellers, right? So they tilt forward when it flies forward, right? Yeah, uh, both of them, uh, they tilt together on the same axis. Yeah. Cool, and does the body generate lift overall? because it has quite an aerodynamic shape and looks like it can generate lift by itself, right? Uh, essentially, in uh, takeoff and landing, it's still by these uh, ducted fans. Uh, uh -huh. So it'll go flat when it's taken off and landing. Okay. After it go up, then it starts to tilt to provide more strength to go forward. And uh, it increases overall flight time, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the distance. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. So here we have a wind tunnel. As you can see, it's pretty rough. It's made to test different vehicles. For example, this small drone. It can be slightly smaller, anything that fits within the array. And also the guy can control everything from the tablet. So they can control wind gusts. They can control certain areas separately. Show it here, please. So they can, tr they can control it separately and you can you can change any of them yeah so this this create wind gusts now they are all different and drone behaves pretty rough as you can see yeah it's very aggressive for the drone and you can test it in harsh conditions Okay, what is it and how is your company called? Oh, this is our newest production. Uh -huh. um, this is hydrogen tank drone. Cool. Yeah. So, how long does it fly and what's the capabilities overall? How okay. much it carries weight? Okay, so the payload is 50 kilo. Uh -huh. um, and with uh, empty payload, it can fly for over two hours. Awesome. And uh, I see that the hydrogen tank is carbon fiber, right? Yes. So it carries like enormous pressure inside and it should be more efficient than just battery, right? Of course, yeah. Yes, because for the normal battery drones, so it can fly only like uh, not, ex not more than one hour. But okay. with this, it's double the flight time. Double the flight yeah, time? Yes. How is your company called so people can find it? Yeah. We are Feiyu Tech from Feiyu. yeah from China Guili. It's a very beautiful city. Awesome. Yeah, we have awesome. a very big factory. We are the producer. Okay, and uh, this one is capable of carrying how many? Fifty kilos. Fifty kilo. Yes. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm back to my workshop. Exhibition went well. I was there last year. I was there this year, and. It's a clear improvement year to year. They're getting better. More companies, more drones, more VTOLs. So I hope that the next year will be even more exciting than this one. 
Then I want to apologize to Hobbywing company. Unfortunately, I didn't put correct settings on my camera in their booth, so the video is darker than I would prefer. So I'm new to YouTube, so it is what it is. And for different representatives of different companies, I want to say that I'm currently based in Huizhou. That means that I'm pretty close to most of your factories. And if you want to show people how you make those things, how you build your drones, how you build your system, how you produce them and pack, I can show that. And to everyone, thanks for watching this far. That's very important for me and for this channel as I'm just starting and it helps me a lot. So I want to ask you to hit this like button and subscribe for more videos and exciting things.